a short break and back. This is me, Henry Ray Baker, signing in again. And the second video I have is only fours and horses. Del, Rodders, Uncle Albert, Trigger, Marlene. And we have reached series six. There are two series left to go before it's done and dusted. So we are starting series six now. Episode one is called Yuppie Love. And we will start shortly. But before we do, if you are new to this channel, then please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and like and share. If you come here regularly though, please smash the likes and the shares. And if you need to catch up with past episodes of Only Fools and Horses, then please go to my channel, Henry Ray Baker, click on videos, and scroll down or with the magnifying glass symbol type click that and then type only fours and horses either way you'll get your catch up and the remainder of my schedule is last of some wine starting at 6.40 through to 8 p.m. So, if we are all ready, this is being aired on YouTube and Twitter. So if you have either of those platforms, then you will be able to view podcast. So without further ado, let's get started with Only Fools and Horses, Series 6, Episode 1. Yuppie Love. Oh, we are at Dale Rodders and Uncle Albert's apartment, flat, whatever you'd like to call it. Rodders, dressed in a suit or business like, is working the computer. So it looks like he's got a job. Whereas Uncle Albert is enjoying TV with a cup of coffee and a sandwich. But the computer is like Atari, the old Windows 98. Oh. Because this started in 1981. Rodders is trying to get the computer up and running so that he can do all the finances of Trotter's independent traders computerized. Uh, hanging up around the flat are overcoats, tan overcoats in different sizes that he needs to 
flock. Double as Del comes out of the bedroom dressed like Boise. As if he struck a huge deal and gone up in the world. gone through or started to go through today's post. Always seem to put a smile on his face until he gets to the brown ones <laughs> that are usually bills. Can you remember having your first computer and trying to get it set up? So that you can use it either for gaming or business. But at least Rodgers is trying to make a life for himself and Trotter's independent traders make it more business-like. But it must be how it go Rogers day. I don't know what's worse, Rodgers when he was all down in the glumps of not having much future-wise and now that he's all business-like, suited, computerized. You've got to try and earn money somehow to make a living. Because that pays the bills.
because they're all having an argument. When they're not arguing, that's when it's not right. But having chicken pox or smallpox is not nice unless you've been immunised. When he, Uncle Albert starts coming out with during the war or and all that stories and all his sea mates and everything. Dell, he sat at the table where Rodis was doing the computer work and Dell pressed the delete button and the whole screen went completely blank. So all that work that Rodis has done has gone poof. So it's gone to a break. And we'll be back it's like five seconds out and about in the car of Trotter's independent traders They've come to King's Avenue <laughs> with Rodders wearing one of those tan overcoats. But the only problem is the car they are driving, the Robin Reliant. And King's Avenue is where all the wealthy live. Because all the, the houses, the cars in the drive. And that's where Roger uh, Dale wants to be. In a better house. Flash of cars than the Robin Re Reliant. And Gone 
and a half. But it still feels like that Rodders is getting it big time. And yet they are driving a Robin Reliant. Yes, they are nice cars, but when you are so-called businessmen, you don't want to be driving a Robin Reliant. Cassandra, who is wearing the same tan overcoat as Dell is, as Rogers is. But now that Rogers has gone in to learn. <laughs> this is the episode where Dale falls through the hatch. As he's gone to a cocktail bar with his file of facts and briefcase. And put you on the act. But there are two women sat at the bar having a, a drink of wine and making total fun of Dell and his persona. And because he has that gift of the gab, he's keeping them entertained. The evening class, Rodders has pages and pages of computer paper with a program that he will need to put into his computer to, for it to be able to run which will take ages. Okay. Same coat, <laughs> inside the coat, there's a name, Rodney Trotter, <laughs> you know like as you label your clothes when you go to school, 
Everything is labelled. Totally embarrassed. Buddy Rogers is enamoured by Cassandra, not just because they're wearing the same coat, <laughs> but they're at the same course, computer course. But everything about Cassandra is totally different. She drives a better car. And he, Rodis is lying to Cassandra to where he lives. But just as Cassandra says, I'll give you a lift home. Dell appears and spoils the moment as he's come out of the club. But Rodgers is furious. Uh, he was that close to getting into Cassandra's car and maybe something might have happened but no Dale happens <laughs> and well when Dale happens nothing else happens But he's really upset things. Dell as Rodgers has gone home. But at least he's got his briefcase to take Rodgers books home. Later that same day, Rodgers has gone to a club to meet his buddies, Kevin, more upmarket for the yuppies. Where he can be more himself. And when you've got in a nightclub, 
you've got all the music playing. You can't really hear yourself if you're talking to someone. But in the same nightclub, Rodgers sees Cassandra, who he met earlier at the computer course. But you don't need a wingman, as we know with what happens with Rodders and Cassandra in later episodes. They're even placing a bet that Rodgers will not go up to Cassandra and ask for a date. Because what Kevin and other one don't know is that they've already met Cassandra and Rodney. <laughs> oh, this is where he gets one on Kevin. as he's dancing with Cassandra back at the wine bar though Trigger arrives Dale is still drinking and um, Trigger does not drink wine, he's more of a beer but we are about to see an iconic moment in Only Fools and Horses history. Wait for it. Wait for it. They're just talking to each other, Dell and Trigger. He's noting, noticing women on their own. But because Trigger is rather gormless, does having to explain here Dale goes through his usual spear spiel 
a business like action. Inch. But the snobs and toffs in this wine bar haven't taken the bait. <laughs> but at the nightclub, Rodis is gloating that he's dance with Cassandra but there's always guys who would do this they will do the nudge nudge wink wink say get one of them to go and ask the women for a dance or a date or can they buy them a drink? So it's been a better night for Rodders. <laughs> He's won the bet. And the final scene is about to happen. Estelle is resting on the bar. And once she moves away from the bar, now He's fallen in and triggered is still ha hasn't seen Dell. <laughs> but because the barman put the part of the bar up, I don't know what they call that part. Dale just falls straight through. He looks like got struggling to go up the steps with his file of facts and his briefcase with his neck Orkin torted. But Cassandra is taking Rodders, Kevin, and friend home at a night at the nightclub. But in the car, Kevin is mouthing off. So the first stop is to let Kevin and Cassandra's friend it's in a posh part of where all the wealthy people live. But Dimwit Kevin doesn't understand anything other than getting laid.
but it's still looking very good for Rudders and Cassandra. When it comes to dropping rudders off, he's told her the wrong place in King's Avenue because he doesn't want Cassandra to know where he really lives. in Mandela House. They each go in for a peck. But as Cassandra hasn't left yet, Real homeowners are still up and wondering what the hell is Rodders doing on their drive. <laughs> but luckily enough, Cassandra then leaves. and is able to give time for Rudders to go home but he's got the wrong coat yet again he's got Cassandra's coat and it's absolutely pouring with rain So he has to walk home in the pouring rain, I mean torrential rain. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at Mandela House, But he hasn't yet come home. But Dell and Uncle Albert, well, especially Dell, is enjoying listening to some music while Uncle Albert is putting the rubbish out. <laughs> He's still feeling sore as he fell through the bar. A wet and bedraggled Rodders finally walks in looking like what the cat dragged him.
Or maybe Count Dracula. Because <laughs> his hairstyle. But it will need drying out before he takes it back to Cassandra. Mm. And I don't think Rodders actually cares because every layer of his suit is sopping wet. Is he having a bet? And he knows exactly me. He had a chance for Cassandra and he didn't want to tell Cassandra where he lived. So he said, I live in Kings Avenue where all the wealthy people live. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he was completely right. Because had Rodders said, I live in Mandela House, would she still have said, yes, I'd go on a date? But Dell is gloating because he's won the bet. Should have told the truth. Just because you come from different surroundings doesn't mean to say you're not going to get a, a relationship with someone who's in a more upmarket because it's what each of feels. That's what counts, not where you live, what car you drive. It's how you feel inside that you're going to get a date. Not even how you dress. That will not get you a date. It's how you each feel about each other. Honestly, it's the best policy, which Rodgers finds out for himself. A reason why Dell hasn't got a relationship. Yes, he met, met Raquel.
but he was in the same situation. Telling her where he lived. If you're watching and listening and have yet to subscribe, please do click on that notification bell and like and share. I will be live again at 6.30 for Last of Summer Wine. Whenever Rodgers has anything good going for him, Dale likes to play pranks and jokes on him. But as Uncle Albert comes out with the tea, looks like she's on toast. Mm. Uncle Albert lets information slip and it triggers rudders as he wants to get hold of Dell and throttle him. But it's actually egg, beans, bacon, Oh, <laughs> but all the information Rodders needs is in the file of facts which he chucked out, and that is the end of. Episode 1 of Series 6. Episode 2 will be next Tuesday. So thank you to everybody who has come in and watched and listened, liked and shared. I'm going to take a short break for dinner, but I will be back for the start of Last Summer Wine. So until then, this is me, Henry Ray Baker, signing out for now. Ciao.